I'm gonna show you something in the Bible. You celebrate Christmas or birthdays? You like those things? What about Thanksgiving? You like Thanksgiving? Which one your favorite one? You said Christmas? Why is that? You say, because you get stuff. All right, give me Colossians chapter 2 and verse 8. And then we're going to jump to Jeremiah. Give me Colossians chapter 2 and verse 8. Because I want to show you something out of the Bible. You've been taught that Christmas is Jesus' birthday, haven't you? That's another lie you've been taught. So look, that's two things. You've been taught the image, of, the image of Christ is a lie, and you've been taught that Christmas is Christ's birthday. But watch, watch what this, the Bible says. Read what you got. This is the book of Colossians chapter 2 and verse 8. Uh -huh. Beware, lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. You see what that said? Beware that anybody spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. You've been spoiled. I Man, that's the spoil something's not a good thing. Guess what that was? That's spoiled through philosophy and vain deceit. It's the lies and the deception of Christmas. You've been lied. That's what we told you what? That was Christ's birthday, but that's a lie. Watch the rules you got. After the tradition of men, after the rudiments of the world, and not after Christ. So these things are after Christ. This is what the world taught us. The world taught you that Christmas was Christ's birthday. Right. The world told you that. Right. The Bible never told you to keep Christmas. Right. Jeremiah chapter 10, watch what the Bible says. God never told us to celebrate Christmas. He never told us to celebrate Easter. He never told us to celebrate Halloween. Right. He never told us to celebrate Thanksgiving. Right. Read what you got. This is the book of Jeremiah chapter 10, right. verse one. Read Come on. up. Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, mm -hmm. O house of Israel, mm -hmm. thus saith the Lord, Learn not the way of the heathen. God told us to not learn the ways of the heathen. The ways of the heathen are what? Christmas, Thanksgiving, Halloween. Those are the ways of the heathen. God told us don't learn those things. Read it. And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. Mm -hmm. For the heathens are dismayed at them. What's something that just happened recently with the signs of heaven? That people got dismayed by. The eclipse has just happened. Everybody looking at the sky all amazed. The Lord said don't be dismayed by those things. Are the signs in heaven? What else you got on that? Three. But the customs of the people are vain. God said those customs of the people are vain. That vanity. They don't mean anything. How you doing, brother and sister? Come forward. We teaching the young man the truth of the Bible. Read what you got. But one cutteth a tree out of the forest. Uh -huh. The work of the hands of the workmen. So right now, brother and sister, how y'all doing? What's your name? Sean. Sean, what's your name, sister? All right, Sean Shakur. My name is Michael. We were talking to young brother Ty right here. We showed him the truth of the Bible. And what we went over so far is the true image of Christ and how we don't celebrate. God doesn't command us to celebrate any of these holidays that they give us. Christmas, Thanksgiving, Easter, birthdays. God says all those things are an abomination. That's right. He told us don't celebrate those things. Right. Uh, read verse 3 again. But the customs of the people are vain. Mm -hmm. For one cutteth a tree out of the forest. Come on. The come work up. of the hands of the workmen with the axe. Read. They deck it with silver and with gold. What does that sound like to y'all? What does that sound like? I'm gonna read, read it slow for all. Read it slow for <laughs> I want y'all to hear it real carefully, all right? Read it again. That's right. But the customs of the people are vain. One cutteth a tree out of the forest. The work of the hands of the workmen with the axe. So you got the tree being called the forest, read. Uh -huh. They deck it with silver and with gold. Now what day does this sound like that our people were forced to celebrate? What does it sound like? A tree being cut down, they Christmas. deck it with silver and gold. Christmas. 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 God tells us this is not a day we are to celebrate. I was showing the young man in the Bible, they lied to our people and told you what? That was Christ's birthday. No, that wasn't the birth of Christ. That's the celebration of Nimrod. That's what that's going into. Read what you got. They fasten it with nails mm -hmm. and with hammers that it move not. When you get in there, when that people, our people get into the house, where they put it into the house, they set the stand up, they put in the stand, they screw the sides in so it won't move. The same thing is talking about right here. Let's jump back to Colossians 2 and 8 for our brothers and sisters. But this is what God said about these things. Read what you got. It's the book of Colossians, chapter 2 and verse 8. Read it up. Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. Beware that any man spoil you with philosophies and vain deceit. Things that are no good to you. Read. After the tradition of men. Are these things that not are traditions of men? Thanksgiving, what was that celebrating? The death and slaughter of your people. Right. But they say, what do they call it now? Indigenous Day. Right. How disrespectful is that? Right. They're going to take a day of slaughter and blood. No, 
decades of slaughter, not no centuries of slaughter and bloodshed of your brothers and sisters Back. in this land. Wake but America up. is the biggest crime scene in the world. Right. From corner to corner, from sea to sea, North America is one big crime scene. That's right. But we don't see it. Why? Because we've been blinded with lies. Yes. We've been blinded with lies. If you've been living in filth your whole life, you don't even realize you're in filth. That's right. Keep reading. After the rudiments of the world mm -hmm. and not after Christ. After the rudiments of the world and not after Christ. Christ told us to keep what? The Passover. Right. Christ told us to keep tabernacles. Right. Christ told us to keep feast of dedication. Right. Christ told us to keep the day of atonement. That's right. To atone for our sins from all this wicked mess right. that our people keep it right here in Babylon That's and throughout right. the whole world. Right. These customs have been spread to the four corners of the earth. This wickedness is going everywhere, touching everybody. Islands across the world that people, you're like, hold on. This is an island in the middle of the Pacific. What do they know about Christmas? What do they know about Halloween and Thanksgiving? What does that even have to do with that land? Right. Or that geographical area? Right. Nothing. But the people that rule over this world, they have brought much evil into this place. That's right. Give me Job chapter 9, verse 24. And I want you to get the image of the people that we're talking about that rule over you right now. That's right. Because imagine, imagine all the people you see on Wall Street, everybody, all the delegates you see in the house, in the Supreme Court, what do those faces look like? Yeah. Like us. They don't right. speak for us, not like us. That's right. Our issues that we have in our community, we don't have anybody to speak for us when they have these meetings. Right. right. The things they discuss is how to keep us oppressed, how to keep us down. Right. These brothers you see in purple around you today, we're your vanguards. We're gonna stand up and fight for you. That's, That's right. right. Read what you got. This is the book of Job, chapter 9, verse 24. Read it out. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. God said the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. That's why you see much, see so much turmoil today. The water is unclean. Right. Pe pe what's that, uh, Michigan? Oh, people yeah, still don't have clean water. Right. Down there in Mississippi, they still don't have clean water. Right. But you mean to tell me you want us to give our hard-earned tax dollars and send it overseas right. to people that hate us? Right. And you got Negroes walking around crying and moaning because of some things that they see. That destruction that's coming on those people is by the Lord, our God, right. for what they've done to us. Right. But what do we do? We cry and we weep for people that don't care for us. Yep. We look for a nation that can't help us. Give me Lamentations 4 and 17. Bring it up. We're looking for a nation of people that can't help us, that can't help us. Hey, young Tiny, you get a, you get a flyer? Get that young no, man no, a flyer. No, Check that flyer out. Anyone. You got a I cell phone? Scan that QR code with your cell phone, young man. Learn more about what we teach, all right? Show your father, show your mother, your uncles, your aunties. Read what you got. This is the book of La Lamentations chapter 4 and verse 17. This, this, is, this is one thing it's sad to see. A woman goes into a man's house, a, a, a white woman goes into a black man's house, shoots him dead, Right. she goes to court, gets charged, and guess what happens? The black judge, she steps out of character and she and she sues the woman for killing this man, this innocent man that won't do nothing in his house. Eat ice cream, on. Yeah, he was sitting on his couch eating some ice cream. Went to this man's house, they live in the same complex, she went to this man's house and killed him. No and then our people, Oh, it's okay. We we know you were wrong. We we know you messed. We know you didn't mean. It. And we look for these people. For help. Watch what the Bible says. Read what you got. This is the Book of Lamentations, chapter four, verse seventeen. Read it out. As for us, our eyes are yet fail for a vain help. Mm -hmm. In our watching, we have watched for a nation that could not save us. Every time you turn around, what's coming up this year in November? Yep, this year. Election year. Election. Every four years, our people are lined up, walking around with stickers on their chest, saying, I voted, I voted. Looking for, looking for a nation's help that don't give a damn about us. Right. You're going to a nation of people that put you into slavery and that still have you in slavery today. And we're looking for help from these people. That's not going to help us. You think voting is going to help our people? You think one thing on that ballot that's in our community that's going on. What's going on in that ballot that's talking about stopping abortion in our community? Stopping the gang violence? What's on the ballot that's talking about that? Let's get better, let's get clean water in that community. Right. Let's get better after school programs for the children in that community. Right. right. Let's open, let's reopen the communities that we shut down so the kids can be bored and continue to kill each other. Right. And then talk about them on CNN and Fox and MSNBC and say, look at them, they don't have nothing, all they do is kill each other. Wake them up! But meanwhile, this nation we look to help for took all those things away from us. Right. They put us in a box and they shake it up and watch what happens. Right. And, and we go to the ballot box and we think we're doing something. Right. 
All we're doing is voting for our oppressor to rule over us even more with an iron fist. Right. Right. But God said in voting this year, November 4th, November 4th, and every four years they vote, it's not going to help us. Right. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 17, verse 14. There it is. Let's kick it in the bud before we even get there. That's right. Because a lot of our people are out of their minds, man. Yes. We do the same thing every four years, and we fall victim to the Democratic, Republican, conservatives, and the liberals, the same BS they push on us every year. Right. Lies, lies, lies. That's right. And we, they have no solutions. But we're going to give you the solutions out of the Bible. Thus save the Lord. Deuteronomy chapter 17, verse 15. This is what God said about that vanity with those vote read. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 17, verse 15. Come on. Thou shall in any wise set him king over thee, mm -hmm. whom the Lord thy God shall choose. Mm -hmm. One from among thy brethren shall not set king over thee. Thou may have not set a stranger over thee, which is not thy brother. You know what that means? That's what we do when we go to the, to the ballot. You're choosing somebody to reign over you that God didn't choose to reign over you. you right. God chose to reign over us out of our brother, Jesus the Christ. That's, That's right. right. The black Messiah. That's, That's right. right. That's, the scepter does not depart from Judah. That's who he chose. That's right. Man. That's who Christ chose. Give me Genesis chapter 49, verse 12. You know? This is who Christ chose. This is our Savior. He's only coming to one nation. That's right. He's coming to the nation of Israel. These people right here at this sign. That's been spread abroad across the earth. The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's right. It's been spread through the four corners of the earth through slavery. Right. From the transatlantic slave trade. From the sub-Saharan slave trade. And every nation outside of us has had us in captivity. Do your research. Guaranteed everybody has had us in captivity. Read what you got. Verse 10. Because I got to ask you a question. What's a scepter? You know what a scepter is? You ever seen a king on the throne? He's all like that staff and he's got like gold and diamonds yeah, and stuff. Yeah. That's the scepter. The ruler always holds the scepter. The ruler. So watch what the Bible says, verse 10. The scepter shall not depart from Judah. From who? From Judah. Read. Nor a lawgiver from between his feet. So guess what tribe Christ is from? Wake him up. Teach him up. Make it plain. What tribe is Christ from? Give me that in Hebrew. That's right. What tribe y'all think Christ from? The greatest man, that's, in, right. that's right, sis, the tribe of Judah. That's the right. greatest man that ever walked the planet, and he is returning to that's walk this planet again. Right. The Bible said the scepter, rulership, would not come out of Christ's hand. He will always hold a scepter. That's right. But right now, for our punishment, right now, the wicked rule over the earth. We're going to show you what it is, but read what you got. This is the book of Hebrews, chapter 7, verse 14. Come on. Yeah. But it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah, mm -hmm. of which tribe Moses spoke, Nothing concerning priesthood. You see that? Christ came out of the tribe of Judah. He said it's evident that he came out of the tribe of Judah. See, when I, now you want to ask yourself, well, damn, it's evident Christ came from the tribe of Judah. What do these people from the tribe of Judah look like? Right. That's Let's find out what they look like. Give me Jeremiah 14. Let's find out what the people from the tribe of Judah like us. Right now, they just say Christ is evident that he came from the tribe of Judah. That's right. It's evident I can see this brother's a black man, this sister's a black woman. It's evident I can see that. So let's see what these people from the tribe of Judah look like. Read what you got. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 14, verse 2. Read it out. Judah mourning, mm -hmm. and the gates thereof language. Come on. They are black. They are what? They are black. They are what? They are black. The tribe of Judah are black. Right. So it's That's evident right. that Christ, the black Messiah, came from the tribe of Judah. Because right. he looks like his people. That's, right. Right. that's what the Bible is telling you. Now we're going to get the image of Christ, and we're going to get the image of his father. That's right. So let's go to Revelation chapter 1 and verse 14, then we're going to jump to Daniel to get the image of the father. We're going to show you out of the Bible. 1 Peter 4 11 says, If any man speak, let him speak the oracles of God. That's These right. are my words. I'm speaking the Bible. That's right. My words don't mean anything. Right. When it comes to my book, we're going to read the Bible. Read what you got. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 14. Come yeah. on. His head and his hair were white like wool. Come on. As white as snow. Come on. And his eyes were a flame of fire. Who has woolly hair, woolly textured hair on this planet? Our people. That thing is beautiful, too. Read yeah, right. Go to where the sun. And his feet like a divine bride. Uh -huh. As okay. if they burned in a furnace. My brother, my sister, y'all feet by the same color as the rest of your body, right? says Christ, not only was it the color of brass, as if it burned in a furnace, so Christ is a deep dark skin man. That's right. right. Woolly texture here. Right. Read. And he had... Oh, no, Lord, go to the Father. Give me Daniel. Daniel 7. Yep, read what you got. This is the book of Daniel, chapter 7 and verse 9. Now, read this up. is the image of the Heavenly Father. Read. I beheld till the thrones were cast down. Come on. And the Ancient of Days did sit. The Ancient of Days is talking about the Most High God. Read. Whose garment was white as snow. He had a garment on, so what that mean? If you got on a shirt and pants, what you gotta have to have that on? Um, 
Bill. What you gotta have to put clothes on? A body. A body. <laughs> right? So God has a body. He's not some ghost flying around creeping people out. He's a man. That's right. Breathe. And the hair of his head, like the pure wool. Like the what? Pure wool. His son is just like him, like father, like son. Read. Right. His throne was like the fiery flames, mm -hmm. and his wheels are burning fire. So we have to show you the image of God and the image of Christ. And guess what? He said, let us make man in our image. Who you think he was talking about? You think? What? He was talking about us? Break him up. That's the right. dust of the ground. That's what he was talking about. That's right. Because before, before, any other, before the white man walked the earth, Everybody looked like us. Everybody was dark like us. That's right. right. So he said, let us make man in our image. He was talking about us. Y'all heard that before in Genesis, right? Yes. That's what he was talking about. The so-called white man, he, he, Esau didn't come to, he didn't come to later on. Yep. So I want to show, I want to, I, I brought up a point. Give me wisdom of Psalm chapter 13, verse 3, because we got to take pride in the way we We got to take right. pride in our lips. Take pride in our features. Take pride in our hair, our skin color, our, our broad nose, because we look just like the Heavenly Father. That's we right. look just like Christ. And this is what God told us. We need to keep this in our mind. Every time you look in the mirror, you need to see the image of God when you look in the mirror. That's right. That's what you need to see. You need to see your foremother Sarah when you look in the mirror. Right. You need to see your forefather Adam when you look in the mirror. Right. You need to see Solomon when you look in the mirror. Right. Wisdom of Solomon chapter 13 and verse 3. Yeah. Read what you got. This is the book of Wisdom of Solomon chapter 13 and verse 3. Come on. Come on. With whose beauty, if they bring delight, look them to, the, to be gods. Mm. Let them know how much better the Lord of them is. Mm -hmm. For the first author of beauty hath created them. So the first God is the author of beauty. Right. So if he made you and your his image, what does that mean? Like yes. And everything about you is black and beautiful. Yes. Yes. You gotta take pride in it as an Israelite. But guess what else? It's more than that. We gotta start taking responsibility. Now we gotta start keeping the organs of God. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example.